for four and twenty. We've been there for it all. Australia's original fan food. Here he is, Marty. Yeah. Yes, Max. Max. Good morning. Commiserations, Max. That's uh, okay. It's what is it? It's like ten days now. Yeah. I'm still not over it, but it's been no. Of course. You'll never really probably ever get over yeah, it. You should try and speak to Goody in this little time. He's still talking about the inside fifty count. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's obviously it's a slightly devastating way to. Uh, get knocked out both mm. games by under a kick and mm. the Carlton game in particular were in front with a minute to go. I mm. don't, I know. Um, <laughs> but it reminds you how hard finals is. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. You look, the best team by country mile this year has been Collingwood in terms of home home and away mm. and they've won both their games by under a kick with 30 seconds to go. Like, mm. Giants almost knocked them out of a prelim. Like, that's mm. pretty incredible yeah. when you go back 10 weeks and go, Collingwood almost lost a prelim to Giants. Yeah. Um, it's just how hot finals are. Yep. Mate, it's been a fantastic year. It's one of the best years I can remember in the AFL. It's apart from North, obviously. But, you know, <laughs> removing North from the conversation, there's been a lot of close games. 2022 had a lot of close games too as yeah. well. We've been spoiled since the pandemic, really. Yeah. yeah. This final series in particular, it's yeah. been a belter. I think a lot of people fell out of love with footy, especially from I an did. AFL point of view, mm. AFL player point of view throughout COVID. Oh. Mm. Games every night. Remember the yeah. first game they played with the Fox fake crowd yeah, and stuff. I was oh, like, yeah. oh, oh God, oh. really? Are we doing this? Yeah. Um, and then the last two years, it's even brought me back. I've, I've, I'm watching Friday Night Footy and mm. I'm watching Sunday Twilight North Saints. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm watching a lot of footy at the moment. That's too much. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was just talking to Josh Kennedy, who's the AFL Cup ambassador this year. Yep. And uh, I was talking to him about the relief when you retire mentally of not having to go week in and week out with all of the stuff that's around football, including the collision aspect of the game. Have you been able to sort of mentally shut down yet or are you still a bit sort of... "Mm -hmm." Uh, (laughs) Normally I'm a little bit like that, but I've been forced... Uh, to have a fair break here. I've, I've just, I've had no sur- surgery. Which you couldn't tell looking no. at you. Which is good. Yeah. Um, Your I nose did... looks beautiful, actually. You've got a very good looking nose, Max. Thank you. Did I have that before the surgery? I don't remember ever looking at your nose. Okay. Is this a dumb question? Did they go through nostrils or have they made incisions? No, no they've gone like through nostrils, I think. Really? Right. Yeah, okay. I was out, to be fair. And right. what did they do? Uh, what was the nose op for? Sinuses and then shaved a couple of bones. So right not, up the top. not so much playing related, just sort of. Well, I couldn't breathe out of it. Right. Um, but but you're a mouth breather. Yeah, I can't do anything for two weeks. So I've been forced to have a fair bit of a break. Mm. Wow. Um, and in that time, you can feel yourself sort of mentally coming back down to earth. Yes, and gaining weight like it's going out of fashion. Oh, so I, I doubt should. that. Yeah, like I had a, I went and got a, a, a egg and bacon roll again this morning. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I'm going to drop back. all that. Okay, thank yeah. you. You'll get rid of <laughs> all that. Don't you worry. Oh, I've got to come in here when I'm feeling <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Once you get you... your nose going, you'll be... Yeah, you'll yeah be once you get breathing again, you'll drop the weight like that. Oh, yeah. There's a chance because I haven't spoken with a clear nose for a long time that my voice might change. Wouldn't that? That'd be fun. Yeah, that'll be fun. Because you sound a yeah. little bit like Darren Lockyer from I'm the NRL. I'm a little NRL. bit nasally right now. Because uh, <laughs> uh, he's like, yeah. like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a bit of the Tommy Radonikas about him. Come back, you sound like Pavarotti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come back, you <laughs> singing Ness and Dorma. Um, let's come back and talk all things grand final. It's such an exciting it time. It sure is. Max Gore with us this morning, 16 past eight. Melbourne. Do you Max think gone. 29 on grand final day will have impact? Yeah, That's glad, a hot grand final. Glad I'm not playing. That was yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, that, that advantage Brisbane, would you say? Well, have to, wouldn't they're it? more used to that, I suppose. Yeah. It's been a long time since a really hot grand final day. Mm. Yeah. Last I, year was warm in the sun, but it wasn't hot. I can't remember it being hot, though. No, yeah, no it wasn't, it wasn't like hot. 21, 22 times. Yeah, it was about that. Yeah, it was about that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't have a great memory of it either. Yeah. <laughs> I know Hawks West Coast. <laughs> what was that? Fifth? That, that was a really that was hot. hot. I reckon it got in the thirties that one. Okay, uh, but yeah, it's rare. Hawks Frio was really hot for me. I was in Berlin at six, <laughs> at six a.m. in a in a, like a little sauna basement. So it was literally quite hot. Yeah, it was, it was literally yeah. quite hot. Um, Max, you're not there this weekend, which is a shame. Um, you've had a bit of postseason surgery. Yes. How is the club generally? Most blokes, anyone going in for anything we need to know about? Can you drop an exclusive on us? Uh, no, we, we we stayed away from wrestling on Mad Monday. <laughs> oh yeah, heard uh, about that. We uh, Clayton, most, how's he? Yeah, he's he, he's ready to go. I suppose at some point. I mean, he's not ready to go tomorrow, but no, he, he'll, he'll have his break. Um, I'm just trying to think. May you punch anyone out or no, he behave no himself? One. May had a good, good man Monday. He was, Did he? Yeah, he was. Well behaved? Well, well behaved. Um, the theme was Michael Hibbard because uh, he's retiring. 
Um, so, like, he wears some funny kits. He's got not much fashion um, oh. sense. Uh, he's actually he's from Somerville. Not back in Somerville, but it's not a great area. Sure. Um, <laughs> oh, no, 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 Somerville. Amazing. In fact, wow. a little bit of triple M demographic probably. Oh, Somerville. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love Somerville. <laughs> we all <laughs> love Somerville. We, love it's just, we don't choose to live there. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, it was a, yeah, I mean, apart from how disappointing and sort of embarrassing was the initial um, thought exit. I had yeah, the, uh, in the exit. And um, I mean, we've lost four finals in a row now. Three of them, the last three have been similar way. We should have beat Brisbane in the last mm. game in 2022 and um, with our numbers. They've um, been tight, though. It's not like been getting tight. blown out mm. of the water. It's not a disaster. Um, I've, I've, I've left the year knowing that I've just some more adversity. It's going to be even better. When and we, you personally when we had a great year, Max. Congratulations. You had an absolute belter. It was, it was different. Um, I remember at the start of the year, my mindset was to share the, obviously the role when I'm getting older. So protect my legs and all of that. Um, where next year I've sort of got my mindset just back on being the best player I can be. And that's mm. something that I'm really excited by. So, well, it's amazing that you've already set your mind to that and you've only just literally had your nose operated on and played a game of footy about 10 days ago. Mm. So you're clearly in the right headspace. Yeah. Well, I haven't left home for nine, 10 days <laughs> apart from the brown. I, I, but I you've re- left home. You've left your parents' place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah I thought dad, you had. Mum and dad kicked me out real early, actually. Did they? Yeah, I was paying board at 17. And I just oh, got wow. Yeah. Had they yeah. had enough? As soon as I got me part-time job, I was at Domino's. And as soon as I got that job... <laughs> they punted you. They made me start paying board. Where was the then, first place you lived? Out uh, of home? I lived in a share house in Richmond. Mm. Good. Oh, not yeah. so hard. That would have been <laughs> mad. In yeah. the shadow of the G. Yeah, it was yeah. Um, Let's talk GF. Uh, Brisbane v Collingwood. Who do you like? Why do you like them? It's a tough question, this, because... I mean, you got to naturally hate Collingwood because it's Collingwood. But well, actually, see, I've sort of, I mean, I don't want to say I love Collingwood and I'll never say that, yeah. but my hatred of them has diminished. Yeah, I actually really like Collingwood at the moment. Having mm. met Pendles mm. last year. and then But Melbourne, Brisbane have a big rivalry, yeah. so I'm not a big fan of Brisbane, but I like their club a bit, so it's like a bit of a weird one. I don't know who to go for. Mm. I'm really keen on the cup just getting on a plane to Queensland the next day <laughs> and never seeing them again. <laughs> right. um, so I'm slightly interested if Collingwood win it they're in we share the same car park like we're going to see them oh, yeah. a lot a lot mm. um, so I actually wouldn't mind just the cup taken off in Brisbane but mm. in terms of actually picking a winner for uh, what they're going to do out there mm. I think Brisbane are the best team um, mm. Collingwood are obviously better home and away and they and they win a lot more games but I think when Brisbane get their stuff going um, they're they're very hard to stop they do put Minutes together, Brisbane, don't they? Where you just go, Jesus Christ, this team can play footy. Mm. As to Collingwood, though, they, yeah, they, they both, do. They both have a big ten-minute burst in them. Both of these teams. It's yeah. going to be interesting who, you know, makes the most of it. Who capitalises? Yeah, and if Collingwood are anywhere near Brisbane going into late into the game, Collingwood mm-hmm. win. It feels like there's a maturity in Collingwood now that hasn't been there. Mm. With the side bottoms, the Pendles, yeah, et and, al. and Brisbane too. We're talking about the two losing prelim finalists of last year, so. And that also gives hope to teams like yep. like Carlton and uh, and the Giants who yep. all of a sudden feel like they're much closer to the pitcher than previous years. Yeah, I, I think you stay at the point here for one. I feel like you need a bit of adversity to finally get there. Like we obviously sprung up in 2021 a little bit and it came not out of nowhere, but we didn't really have too much adversity. But now we have the last couple of years. So, mm. um, and Brisbane have had it the last three or four years um, with losing finals at home. Um, Collingwood obviously by a point against yeah. Sydney last year. So... Um, certainly sides like Giants, us, Carlton, um, even Port Adelaide, um, that adversity that they're dealing with should help them gain some momentum into next season. It's very hard to keep a club up, isn't it, um, in terms of performing at that level and repeat, a, repeat su- final series. such a long year. It's a um, long year. So when you – initially, I remember you asked the question about Sydney, um, are they – because they lost the grand final, does that help them or hinder them? Mm. I think it helps them early on in the year because they got that feeling. But it's mm. such a long season to hold a grudge. No, you can't from it's last impossible. season. So when Colin would have got back to the prelim, I dare say they're not even thinking about the prelim last year. Like, no, no, they're not trying to um, make it better from what happened twelve months ago. That was like round one to seven. That sort of feeling. That fire. They'd yeah. be trying to keep the lid on it, wouldn't they? Now and just you know, you don't keep the lid on a grand final week. You, no, yeah, I feel, lids I'm, off. I'm a big supporter of enjoying it. Um, making the most of the week. Like for some people, it could be their only one. Mm. Were you disappointed to see the parade go off the Yarra? 
Is it? Is, it's not on the arrow. No. 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 One and done. Wow. Where? <laughs> yeah. Where is it? Back on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Terra firma, we call it. You can it. actually get up close. <laughs> get up close. Yeah. Yeah. You better see it. <laughs> uh, what you... are you doing, Grand Final Day? What does it look like for you, Max? Uh, I won't be doing cashies. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who is? <laughs> the ATO. Bloody ridiculous. Yeah. 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 So, no I mean, one's ever done a cash no, gig. No, I won't be doing that. Um, I don't go. I've I've never gone apart from the one I played in. Yeah. Um. So barbecue at home or yeah, mates or what are you going to do? Have a few boys over. Obviously, I've got um the prick of a son, so I've got to look after him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, he, he won't let me watch it as much as I want to. No. Um, yeah, I might just have a barbie at home. And yeah. Just, yeah. No, Steve May, obviously yeah. he's not coming. <laughs> I'm sort of. Like I, I found it hard to watch the prelims, but I won't find it hard to watch a granny. These are the two best teams. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. They, they yeah. deserve to be in there. You got there. a pool, Max? I think I might find it harder. Colin would have 40 points up or something. But Yeah. That's I think we'll all turn it right. off there. <laughs> yeah. Have you got a pool? Uh, yeah, but it's broken at the moment. Actually. What do you oh, mean no. it's broken? I had a, I had a leak and I, and I cooked the next uh, the next door neighbor's yard. All, oh, the, oh. all the water went in there. Are you oh, joking? No. Yeah. Oh, that is oh, a man. disaster. I had a leak. What was it? An above ground? No, well, actually, it's a bit of a... I've been filling it up with a hose for a long time. Like, yeah. Bar, yeah. thinking like hot water evaporates, that's why it keeps going down. So oh, every but time it I use it, it was leaking. No, it was leaking, and it was oh all under the decking. Oh, oh, hot water no. doesn't evaporate like that. No, and I had a lid on the spa, so it doesn't evaporate. No, 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 no. it can't actually get out. It's going into the neighbour's house. I couldn't work that out. It was just going next oh, door. Max, oh. Max, what a yeah, balls Max. up! So yeah. that won't be ready for grand final day. Well, no, well, it's empty. Um, <laughs> that could be nice to sit in, I suppose. Yeah, get a skateboard, half pipe, yeah, a little half pipe. <laughs> Thanks for all your work for us this year, Max. You've yeah. been wonderful. It's been a pleasure meeting you. You're such a lovely man. Can Thank I quickly you. just get your uh, Norm Smith tip because it made me very happy? Uh, I mean, we all know that the most important position on the ground is the first centre bounce in the Ruckman. So who, are you th- who are you tipping? Oscar McInerney. Bang. Okay, yeah, bang. Yeah, big O. Big O. Yeah. Big o. Um, and if he doesn't get it, unfortunately, it'll, that means it has to go to Mason Cox because they're the only two that can win the Norm. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Have a lovely day, mate. Thanks Thank for you. all your work Thanks this year. Thanks, team. Max, go.